after we char it, we'll reassemble the barrel, put the heads back in. And then we'll go ahead and do the drill for the bunghole. Bunghole! One of the things that you have to accept in this industry is that the terms woody and bunghole are technical terms. Way ahead of you, Jeff. So once the bunghole is drilled, the barrels are stored and eventually filled with a 43% mellowed whiskey before being brought here to the warehouse. After it goes in the barrel, it, it spends years in a warehouse. So there's a long pause after, after that step. A real pause? Or like a TV pause? Just count to three. One, One Mississippi, Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, go! <laughs> but now, you know, that, that part of the process is huge for us because it's where all of your color is going to develop because the whiskey goes into the barrel as, as clear as water. Once it's aged, it's time for bottling. Pre-sanitized 25-ounce bottles are loaded onto the assembly line and sent through the filling station at a rate of around 1,700 per hour. Though you don't have to buy just a bottle, you can actually buy the entire barrel, which works out to around 240 bottles. The filled bottles are given a cork lid. And then workers seal each bottle by hand with a small label. Then a machine applies the final Jack Daniels single barrel label. A worker inspects every bottle for blemishes or defects. For your information, each Jack Daniel employee is given a bottle of Jack Daniels on the first Friday of every month, which is pretty cool. The Jack Daniels single barrel display cases are added to the line. The display cases are put in packing boxes and the single barrel bottles are packed. Well, that was a wild ride, my friends. The only thing I want to know is, Jeff, what's the absolute best way to enjoy a single barrel Jack Daniels? Huh? When it comes to single barrel, I would suggest you go neat or on the rocks, and you can trust me, because I made every one of them. <laughs>